Hello, time for some Go Battle League. Got Haxorus and going to be swapping into the Milk Tank. Because uh, Azumarill is a awful matchup. Don't have any moves that I want to use against it, but the Milk Tank can be fine. Ooh, heavy hitting move. Time to Body Slam. Bringing them to Yellow. Got another body slam ready shortly after. And another body slam after one more rollout. And I get them to use a shield. Gonna shield up myself to not get taken out. And another body slam on that way. Gonna let that fire punch go. And I've won the alignment back gonna be able to have a good matchup getting some last bit of damage Haxorus is not gonna be super helpful this battle but gonna be time for toxic packs to clean up one play rough <laughs> yeah that, that's that's a bad matchup but toxic packs can tank all the moves Azumarill has and I'm have all the energy I need to take out the Pidgeot. Although, that was definitely unnecessary, but I did it. Thankfully, I get all the energy back again. And two grinds back to back. Gonna be enough for the win after getting the shield. Nice. Let's see if I can get a good matchup, and I do. I have a counter user up against the Galarian Stunfisk, and I can lower their attack with Breaking Swipe. They get, let it go, and they bring in a Lola Ninetales because they want to save the energy and they want to get rid of that attack debuff. But the Milk Tank comes in, can take tank that side shock like a champ. And we're allowed to dish out the damage. Now it is a powder snow, so they're getting the moves out a lot. But finally throw and get a KO. Oh, they bring in a Pelipper. They think they're good. Well, this cow has other plans. Oh, they did know. Pel Pelipper faces a Toxapex. And they bring in the Stunfisk guy counter with the Haxorus. And I'm going to be using my shields. Because I'm going to breaking swipe. Primarily debuff this. Pelican. I get one shield. That's very vital. And they're almost out. Going to have. Tax packs for easy cleanup. Or Haxorus. Nope it's yeah tax packs cleanup. That's a nice win. Ooh, Togekiss got to go, go, go. That's a terrible matchup. Am I going to land this Thunderbolt? No, I do not. I should just throw him by the side, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm doing good damage. Going to shield up an Ancient Power. Because I'm not going to let this energy go to waste. By the side, one. And a Thunderbolt on the way. Boom. Got rid of both the shields and time for the counter uses up against this Bashidon. Although Toxabex could probably tank this tank. But I'd rather just use Haxorus. Only have to use shield once and they're done. Let's see what's last. Oh, it's a, it's a Glade and Stunfisk. Well, going to permanently lower the defense. And I'm going to throw a, I mean, attack. And I'm Night Slash to get some good damage. I can survive the Earthquake comfortably. Barely, barely just missed out bringing me under half. But I am now, and I get the knockout with Ryan. Ooh, Shadow Charger, that's pretty cool. 
going to bring in the tox packs because roll out the cow can nuke that thing and tox pack scares them into charger bug, which is fine. Ooh, they shield the sludge wave, nice call. But I do get to a brine before they take me out for parting shot, getting the last shield. So that opens up for me to have the cow to come in. Go in no shield, another move. And they bring in the Conkelder. Shining Conkelder, pretty cool with Brutal Swing. Gonna throw a breaking swipe now. Could have just thrown it straight away. But they are out still. Let's see that Charizard. Gonna breaking swipe nice. Oh, they're almost down. The cow. Oh no. Think they have a shield. By the sand for the win. The cow is a tank. The milk tank. Up next is the Sableye. Okay, this is a good matchup. Decent matchup. Gonna throw Night Slash because I'm like, okay, surely this is better damage. I even I get the attack boost. Now that is worth it. Gonna show the foul play because like I'm perfectly set up to ravage this game and sweep. And of course the attack fall, but still still not gonna be able to survive a charge move, so getting all the farm down. And I did have to double shield, but I have a breaking swipe ready for the man to buzz. So this low attack Pokemon is gonna do even less damage. The cow comes in. The relatively tanky Pokemon cow milk tank. And does Thunderbolt land? It does not. Okay, that's fine. It really is good dam good damage. But I'm gonna need to get to under another Thunderbolt for the win. But I go a little too late and they catch it on Lickitung. Time for Toxpex to come in to match their super tanky Licky Tongue. Pretty good team. Pretty good team they have, but they're now matched for this Toxapex, this literal bunker. And a sludge wave perfectly ready for the Mandibus to get the win for me. With Frostlass, gonna have to swap into the cow to flip the alignment by taking out. Oh, okay. Well, that 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 could be uh could be bad. Thankfully, I have some good energy, so I can throw a good amount of body slams, but this thing is going to be a problem. I am forced to more just let go, because I'm like, yeah, let's get some energy on the Haxorus. I resist the Hydro Cannons, and I have Night Slash for that Frost Slash. Can I get to two Night Slash? That would be massive. I only get to one. Am I gonna lose this battle? This team is beatable. Oh my gosh. Gonna throw a sludge wave. And it lands and the only in red health doesn't get a knockout. Gonna shield up and this Galissa pot is gonna be a problem. Gonna no shield Exorcer and uh yeah, they're just gonna whittle me down too much. Should have just left at this point, but I was like, maybe there's a chance. Nope. Up next, we have an Azumarill. Another awful lead. They bring in the Venusaur. Well, they think the Azumarill is going to be safe, but there's a Toxapex waiting for later. Going to body slam the Venusaur. They're not going to be able to farm me down with Vinewood, right? Yeah. One and uh, 
two and then three more body slams. And I sneak in an extra rollout. Oh, they actually commit the last shield. Okay, so are they going to bring in the bunny? I doubt so. I doubt they would. Now I'm going to throw some. Throw the brine. And then bring in the Hexus to catch the Earthquake. Or, no, it's Rock Slayer. It could have been fine catching it. And now they're going to take me out. I guess I left left the game at that point. Okay. Definitely swapping out of Lola Nine Tails. They bring a defense Deoxys for the milk tank. They're doing real good damage with the counters, but I'm getting to a lot of body slams. And they're not gonna want to shield the body slam immediately, so let's see. I shield up a rock slide. I don't see that too often. And oh, hoo -hoo. they get a shield out of me. Then both locks I know, Psycho Boost, okay. I get to a Bite Sam. Can't get another one? Yes, oh no. Hexus comes in. Gonna absorb the energy and get taken out, but Toxpex is ready to clean up. This tank of a machine, bunker Pokemon, ready to take out the Lola Nine Tails loaded on energy. Could have gotten a shield with the brine, but it's fine. Because I survived that dazzling gleam. This is close, but this is going to be enough to take out. Yes. But no, they have energy, a well played. So this team is beatable, but it's good. I'm gonna stay in and go for the Night Slash. There'll be some nice damage, bring them to, now they're under half health. Gonna be forced to shield that Moonblast. But they bring in, they, they, they bring in a Vigoroth. Good counter user, but I'm gonna Absorb the energy they have on Toxapex. Although I'm kind of a little worried about both of those, but after the attack drops, not too bad. And Brian gets a knockout. They bring back the Chrysalia. That's fine. That was expected, but I get a shield with Brian. What are they doing? They get to two grass knots before I get to another vine. That's fine. Haxus comes in, ready to break and swipe. The shadow go back. Rollouts are ready. Gonna be just fine to take that poison thing. I'm not worried about shadow ball with my normal type body slam for the KO. And then another body slam. Is it gonna be enough to take out the Cresselia? Yes, it is. Okay, Swampert, time to counter you down. Gonna break and swipe to take less damage from the Hydro Cannons. Perfect timing. It's still a little too much damage for my liking, but gonna save breaking swipe for what's next after taking out the Swampert. Or Night Slash, because this can be damaged. Dang it. Toxpex has a lot of energy to absorb, but it can dish some nice damage with the poison jabs. And if I can land a Sludge Wave, that will just be GG for me. Getting a Shield Brine. I should just throw in a second brine. But the cow comes in to take the seed bomb. And a Greninja. I need to take out the Greninja with a Thunderbolt. I showed up a Night Slash. 
Get some extra energy and a thunderbolt. Is this enough? Yes. And it's up to body slams. One. Can I survive the seed bomb? Yeah, get, get the KO. The cow takes it home. Got Swamp It. Gonna go for the breaking swipe. Set myself up for success with the lowering of attack of the Swamp It. But I do shield because I can get another breaking swipe, or so I thought. But I'm going to throw another Breaking Swipe to get in. I get them to use the last shield. So I'm going to use my last shield and get the farm down and have Breaking Swipe for what's next. Which I throw immediately into the Lickitung. The little bitty bit of damage they have. Energy they have from damage. It's fine. I resist those licks like a champ. And power up's not gonna do much. And resistor body slam's not gonna do much. But my body slam's gonna be doing more damage. And some lag. They are looks like they they're out. Let's see what's in the back. What do I have to battle the to get the win? Thunderbolt. Don't worry, I'll get there. To the cleft key. Another thunderbolt. I would have been fine. Because, uh, very, very steel. Weak to the poison water. And now we have a Glenn Dunfisk. Gonna go for the counters. And I let that rock slide not go through. I knew it was only that, but I'm going to Night Slash the Lantern for some reason instead of Breaking Swipe. Milton comes in. I have a move ready on Haxorus for later. Going to tank that. Surf. I don't want to be taking the spark damage on my Tox Specs. That would be bad. Body Slam and another one. Are they going to shield? Because I do have another one ready. Oh, not yet. But I get that rollout and reach it. Let's go, KO. <gasps> Medichan, time for my... Med my Toxpex to scare away the Medicham. And the Haxus comes in to take out the Stunfisk. And I'm going to keep this alive to Night Slash. I should have thrown the move immediately, but I get taken out, but thankfully, still a lot to, okay, still a lot of health out of there, but it's Power Punch, okay, if they have a Psychic, that could be devastating, I throw the Brine, because I'm scared of uh, the Sludge River being shielded, they finally shield the Brine, and I just need one more. And then it's going to be win. If it's Psychic, they have a chance. But nope. Size Punch, there's no chance. That's our win for this bunker. And now we have a Lantern in the lead. Going to go for Breaking Swipe, as I should this time. And I get them to bring in... The Metacham, which I'm going to break and swipe and lower the attack and then bring in Toxapex to absorb all the energy and get the form down. Ooh, Power Punch again. If they have Psychic, then they have a chance. They are at neutral attack. And they do have Psychic. That is a chance at winning, but the Sludge Wave lands. And I think that's just a nice punch, but I'm scared. Oh, no, I power punch. The lantern comes in to take me out with the thunderbolt, but the energy dry, I get to the breaking swipe. And that gets the last shield. 
ready to gain some extra energy onto my milk tank. But I'm going to take a surf because it's not that much damage and the energy is vital for the Medicham. But it's, oh wait, that was fodder. But thankfully it's a pallop in the back. I can nuke with the Thunderbolt. And now time for one last battle. Surf. We have the Lantern, gonna break and swipe. Bringing them to under half health now, and they bring in a Whimsy Cat. Well played. Gonna lower the attack and bring in Tox Packs. Not gonna worry about what move it is. Peony Seed Bomb. Poison is double super effective. Oh, Town Flame. I should have just gone for the Brine. I went too fast, but I did get a shield, which is kind of nice. They need to land a Brave Bird at that point for a chance, but it's too late. They have Lantern. I still have two shields. They're in an awful position. And they use the energy on my Haxorus. That's amazing. Because the cow comes in. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.